Hey, what's going on, you guys? Boy Swipe Boom here with another eating video. What's going on? How are ya? Uh, if you saw my TikTok, I showed you guys how I made all of this. I went down the, down the block, little corner store, bodega, got me the tortillas, uh, mixed in with the huevos, serrano peppers, queso fresco, and you got to see the little cute bodega cat that my wife got to miss. Mm. I know. The cat was asking for you. But let's get a thumbnail and get into it because I'm starving. So I have frijoles. These are my mom's frijoles, by the way. Serrano pi pickled peppers. Um, this is corn tortillas cut up into pieces, lightly fried in some oil, and then uh, scrambled eggs, queso fresco. I have a cafecito right here. And I also have a concha, fresh from the corner store. So let's get a thumbnail and get into it here. Mm. Do you get it down there? I think so. There. What are you grabbing? So done. So done what you just grab. Uh, a carrot. I have ketchup. It goes well with the ketchup. You want to try with ketchup? No. Makes you feel like you're a kid again. Mmm, -hmm, good. Okay, one bite with ketchup. Mm -mm. For the viewers. I don't like it. Mm -mm. You love ketchup. I love ketchup. But I like this flavor right here. Damn, those serrano peppers got a little kick. You want one? No. You don't like spicy? No, Ooh, the carrot is spicy. Mm-hmm. Mm. Can you film a little bit? Like, like a TikTok with your phone? Regular, no negative, I'm just regular. But like oh, higher up so you can see the food. In camera. I'm filming right now. So go to my YouTube. <laughs> What's up with this coffee? You made that. Let's try it out. Foamy. Cabecito, cava cabecito. We doing a minute? Hell yeah. Hey, Maggie. Maggie's in childhood. Mm-hmm. Because you got him there. Because he barked at the pigeons. <laughs> he barked at the pigeons. Yeah. Because you made him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And now you're here. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to I like it with the ketchup. Doing all these new things. You gotta eat what you d desire. Mm -hmm. I picked up wifey last night at work because she had to work late to almost midnight. I like picking you up at work. I get to see all your co-workers and your work husbands. Who's my work husband? Oh. That's actually a pretty legit thing with questions. I wouldn't even know. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because you're really nice. 
you're really nice to people and you're very good at engaging in conversation. And you know. Weirdo, weirdo dudes take that as like, oh damn, she liked me. But work husband is usually somebody you spend a lot of time at work, but I only spend time in Joseph B. Yeah, that's true. And we don't even work the same shift because, you know, we have to alternate. Well, like maybe you. Josephine's a threat. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't, like... Same thing with me. Like, I don't... At my place, I'm in my little corner cutting. Only people I hang out with are 20-year-old youngins, like boys, mm -hmm. who hated there and complained, oh, oh my God, I can't believe I'm doing inventory. Oh, yeah. But we encourage women to also work at butcher shops as well. I've met a lot oh, yeah. of women cutters. Could be hitting. I'm drinking decaf. My Why man. are you drinking decaf? Because I accidentally weaned myself out of coffee. Oh. Of the sea vitamins. Oh, okay. That's what it is? That is what it is. Oh, okay. Because you can't drink caffeine at the same time you drink your C vitamin. Correct. And I always want to drink my C vitamin in the morning because it wakes mm -hmm. me up better. So then I was like, oh, I'm going to drink my C vitamin first and then I'm going to drink my coffee later. And I kept forgetting to drink my coffee. Yeah. And then I weaned myself and I was like, well, I'm not going to go back because it's really hard to wean yourself and I accidentally did it. So now I'm just drinking decaf, which is pretty good. And that's why you're drinking decaf. It's true. I'm serious. What I'm, 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 agree, I'm agreeing with you. That is why I drink decaf. That's I know. He said that's not a sweet thing, so we can have it. <laughs> it's not. It's bread. Listen, it's bread. And you know, conchas are super mild. They're not sweet. We gave up sweets for Lent. And what I mean by that is we didn't stop eating sugar. We didn't stop. I and mean, this family, all we do is work and come home. I run little errands. I every now and again go out and enjoy New York, right? But, thank you. A lot of times on our days off, we do like a movie night and then we go get a bunch of like gummies like Haribo and... Um, Sour Patch Kids and Reese's Pieces, peanut butter cups and chocolates and all this stuff and popcorn and chips and dips and you know, and we wild out and we do it and we, I've noticed that we've done this, oh wait, we did ice cream for a little while too. Mm, the cookies, milk and cookies and Jerry's are weakness. We did ice cream almost every day for a long time. Milk and cookies, Ben and Jerry's. It's so good. It's the best flavor. And um, it just got out of hand. It got out of hand. It got to the point where like, all right, Lent's coming up. Let's give up something. Let's give up sweets. And what I mean by that is those things, like the regular things in this household, not just like for straight up, like hundred percent, but no more going out of our way to buy candy, to buy like any type of cakes, pastries, things like that. But like this, I just feel like this is a little cafecito cake. You know what I mean? You have a little cafecito. You know, yes, God, Easter, God Easter knows. Here. God so knows. Easter's almost here. It's Good Friday. We did good. Yo, this is what you do. You take this right here. You break a little piece off, right? Oh my God, oh my God. You put this in the cafecito. Mmm. 
You did it? Yeah. What do you think? I have my sweets. I can't leave my coffee. Even better. <laughs> even better. Lent. The funny thing about picking up your wife from work when you live in New York City and you don't have a car, it's literally just me going down to her job on the subway and meeting up with her and then just walking back together. It's cute, right? Hey, can I read you some Ben and Jerry's flavors from Finland? Because remember when we looked at these and they don't have these in Finland. Ben and Jerry's ice cream. Flavors. Flavors, but from Finland. Yeah. Okay, read them. They have marshmallow and s'more. I don't think they have. How do we not have that here? Caramel brownie party. The fuck, that sounds good. That's not, it, sounds, it sounds like okay. we have that. We don't have that. I, I don't it's, we have that. a brownie. We have a brownie ice cream that has caramel in it. Um, Sunday Dolce Delish. We have a Dulce de Leche, Ben Jerry. Sunday Dulce de Leche. This is the Y'all are just taking our already flavors and rebranding them. Can I see that? Yeah, they can see that. It, we do not have this. Uh, cookie dough switch up. Ooh. Cookie dough switch what? Switch up to what? I think it's sandwich up. Like maybe it has like ice cream sandwich. Carl, it's, a, it's cookie dough. It's the same shit. Why are you hating? I know, I'm hating. You were all excited. Look, it looks different. What are those? Those look like ice cream sandwich pieces in it. Oh, shit. So it's like milk and cookies, but like with cookie like dough? Oh, damn. That sounds banging. <laughs> Why are you hating? Caramel Sutra. <laughs> like Kama Sutra, but Caramel Sutra? Yeah. Chunky Monkey, but I don't know. I think I've seen Chunky Monkey here. I'm not sure. Yeah, Chunky Monkey's definitely here. Mm. Do you guys like it when... Sunday Chocolata Cheesecake. Do you guys like it when my wife's on the on the podcast? Um, the podcast? <laughs> do you guys like it when my wife's on the podcast? Is This, a, this is essentially a podcast. Ch That's what podcasters do. Chocolatey Love Affair Caramel. That sounds good. Chocolatey Love Affair. Lava. Co Sunday, co see these are like Sunday. So, Cookie Vermonster. <laughs> That's cute. You're just laughing because of the name. You don't even know what it is. Cookie, what? Vermonster. Look at it though. It has like a Sunday frosting topping, and then it has the ice cream on, on the bottom. Here, let me show you guys what I mean. Like, the I'm Sunday, the American. The when Sundays I go to have Finland, on top, and then. It I'll be the judge of that when I go to Finland. Oh, we won't judge. We won't judge. But by sampling. Sampulation. Let's see what else they have. Oh my banoffee pie. Oh, let me see. Get over there. Go. If you guys never had a banoffee pie from Finland, they're amazing. It's UK. Oh, it's the UK. They, yeah. The UK invented it? I think so. It's the same shit. Finland, UK, same shit. What's in it? Tell them. Good pie crust. Sweet pie crust. Sweet pie, pie crust. With the dulce de leche or caramel. Uh -huh. Sliced bananas and whipped cream. Amazing. Amazing. Sunny honey home. It must be like a honey flavored. Is that it? Because we're running out of time here. Caramel choo-choo. What else? Keep going. Why are, you, why are you pausing so much? That's it? All right. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for having breakfast with me. Uh, if you want to see how I made all this stuff, go check out my TikTok. I showed how I went down to the store, picked up all the ingredients, cooked it here in my kitchen, and plated it up for you. So um, thanks for all the love and encouragement on me posting more on YouTube. I'm having fun, and that's how it should work. So thumbs up the video if you like it, thumbs down if you don't comment subscribe and we will see you guys on the next video right yep all right peace